Hey, how is all my do-it-yourselfer buddies doing out there? I hope you're doing great, just like me. Um, hey, on this video, um, I don't usually like to talk too much on the videos. I just want to go straight to the point. <laughs> However, on this video, something kind of weird happened on the minute uh, of 3 with 40 seconds. I'm not usually a ghost believer or anything like that. I'm just very skeptical on uh, supernatural stuff. Anyhow, something weird happened and I want you to take a look at it. Um, I was replacing the fan switch, the speed fan switch, the one that it gives the speeds to the fan. I believe it's a three speed. This switch has four wires. And um, as I was doing the work, as you can see on the video, um this little something showed up uh in there i didn't see it i saw it when i was editing the video that's why it was kind of weird i showed it to a couple of um, uh, people there some of them believe there was a reflection another one that it was a fly and blah blah and so on uh, uh the uh sun you know the sun was blocked almost completely by the curtains and obviously the lights on the room that were off because I was working with, uh, you know, with the light. So, uh, in fact, the room, it was a little bit dark. And I it was one of my worries when I was making this video because it was dark. I couldn't have the lights on. In fact, you're going to see me working with these gloves that it had some uh, 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 kind of like two little lights there. Anyhow, um, I uh, this happened. Uh, it was kind of weird because it kind of like uh, give a 45 degree angle and kind of took off and uh, Hey, I just want to see what you think about it. Uh, if you think it's Something weird, uh, please leave a comment and if you don't think it's weird, please leave a comment too uh, Please uh, put the uh, uh, thumbs up and, and subscribe to my channel man. I'm getting there uh, So hey, thank you for watching my videos. I'll see you in the next video guys. Uh, today, I'm, I will be repairing uh, the uh, fan uh, switch, the fan switch. Um, as you can see, it broke off just like it happened to you. I'm pretty sure if you're seeing it right now. And uh, it's right there. I'm not going to replace it. It's not very hard. <coughs> I had previously purchased the uh, ceiling fan. Real cheap. And I will go ahead and replace it. Okay. So the first thing we do is, well, obviously we're going to cut off the switch from the wall but I'm not gonna cut it off right now because there is no light so there is some screws right there about three of them and we're gonna take those off okay so let's get started uh, all right so we're gonna have to take uh, turn off the uh, the uh, uh, switch. This is gonna be a little bit dark. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to see with this light. And we're gonna take these uh, Phillip screws. There's usually three. Okay. The most important thing on this uh, fan, so when you're gonna do this, is to, to, to make sure that you don't have power on it. There is some fans that uh, it cuts the power to the light, but not the fan, and vice versa. So you gotta be. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, well, don't do it. But if you know exactly that uh, you're not gonna have power, well, you're safe to do it. Okay. So I'm down to two, two screws. And I'm gonna take the second one. Okay. 
this tea gonna fill and as a matter of fact I might leave it like that if I can change it I might not take the third one because this thing is gonna be hanging so I just put in the bolts there now we gotta take that cardboard out of the way if you have a little knife that will work and I'll bring in one right now Okay, so I'm getting the cardboard out of there. All right, and now we got a picture of what we got there. Okay, this is kind of like uh, it's all piled up in there. That's something that I never like on this lamp. Lamps, they're all piled up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, screw out. Uh, it's not a screw, the bolt, I guess, if you want to call it. That's, that's what it holds the switch. And then pull the switch like that. All right. Okay. So. So I hope the camera uh, captures this, but uh, of course you gotta make sure that there is no electricity. But uh, to, to disconnect these wires, you have to press this in here like that, stick it in and then push this thing out. So I got one out. I hope you catch that one. And uh, so, for me not to make uh, mistakes, I'm gonna connect it right away. I got one in. All right, I hope you saw that. This one, I know the camera won't capture, but what I'm doing is I'm pressing that so that way I can take the, uh, the cable out. And I'm pretty much gonna do the same with all of them. I'm just gonna stick the cable there and push it out. All right, so. This is the second. So I'm getting the next one out. Okay. I truly don't know if the camera is capturing this. Uh, I'm having a hard time uh, just trying to. Uh, Get it in here. But once you get it out, you have to stick it in in an angle, just like that, just like it went. And we just got one more cable to go, and uh, that's about it. Which is this, this is the last one right here. And uh, we're just gonna do the same as the other one.
Got it out. And I have to push it in. And here, just like the other ones. Some, some of them are a little bit harder than the other ones. But once you push it in, you know, that's it. That'll be done. Okay. So, now that we got all the wiring, we have to disconnect this, obviously. And somehow we're going to have to try to get the... Uh, The chain to that hole. It's a little bit annoying, but by playing around, eventually you can get it. See, right now it's it's out, and I'm gonna use the uh, little screw. Yeah. There you go. I got it out. So what I did is that I stuck the whole switch, it was better. Now I'm going to get the chain out. Yeah, just like that. And we have to... We have to get the switch. Sit on it. Put the bolt, the nut. Turn it real tight. And pretty much we got everything on it. All we have to do is put this back together. And that's it. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we have to remove the uh, bolts, I don't know if you remember, I'll take them off, remember I just left one, one bolt in there, and hold it. And all I have to do is Push everything back. And just put the, the one on top. Okay, and that's it, guys. So we just install the uh, switch for the fan. It's fairly simple. You gotta be just patient. Oh, we're gonna try it on. All right. And just gonna test it out. That's it. It's working. Okay. That's speed number one. Speed number two, and uh, this is it, guys. I'm gonna show you the switch. Okay. 
So I want to show you inside inside of each one of these things, but the camera won't capture it. You see that little metal plate? That's why you have to push with the screwdriver and then pull the wire at the same time. That's how I did it. And you can see the slots. One, two, three, and four. That's it, guys. Something's working perfectly fine. Just make sure there's no electricity. See you in another edition. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. My next video is going to be soon.